Hi friends, thanks for coming back to my channel. This week in my classes, we've been focusing on the back body, opening up the hamstrings specifically in preparation for splits, Hanumanasana. So let's meet in a comfortable cross-legged seat for a short meditation to begin. And in an ideal world, I'd love for your right foot to layer in front of your left if possible. This will help us as we move forward into our next few postures. All right, so hands come down onto your lap either palms up or take the backs of your hands to the tops of your knees. Gently close down your eyes and begin by taking a few slow, deep breaths. Our philosophical teaching pearl this week has been on tapas, austerity and discipline. Stop, tapas helps us to purify the body, the mind, of all of these samskaras, energetic blockages and imprints. To visualize how tapas can help you facilitate a deeper opening of the body and mind in your practice, begin to visualize a match at the base of your spine. With every breath that you draw in, this match starts to flicker. Eventually the match becomes lit and the heat starts to build in the body. Continue to breathe with depth and intensity, oxygenating your flame, The flame continues to grow until it engulfs the entire abdomen. It moves up into the ribs, the chest, the throat, and permeates down your limbs, into your extremities, lubricating your joints and muscles and warming the body from the inside out, burning up all of your impurities. Breathe into this space for three, Two, one. Gently inhale, lift your chin away from your chest and blink your eyes open. Start to pull your right knee into your belly and flatten the sole of your right foot to the floor. Now, for some, you'll take your hands behind the back of your right thigh and interlace your fingers and lean back as you lift your right leg up. If this is fairly easy for you, slide your hands higher up your leg and extend to a straight position. If you're all good, hands to the sole of your foot, start to bring your shin towards your chin, lift your gaze and let your shoulders roll down your back. Great, start to bend your right knee, flatten the sole of your foot to the floor. Take your hands out in front of you and get a little momentum so you can rock up onto your left shin, kick your left foot into the air behind you and come into a version of standing split. Now we've just gotten started in our, in our hamstring practice, so please don't push or force. Just let your hamstrings open naturally over the course of the next 20, 30 minutes. For two. And one, bend your right knee, lower your left foot down behind you, 
drop your left leg and inhale reach your arms up and over your head coming into crescent moon arch your spine lift your chest coming into a subtle back bend deep breath Great, now exhale, lower your hands to the floor, frame your foot, turn your back toes under and step your left foot to the center of the mat. Turn your left toes to the top left corner and exhale, bow over your right leg for pyramid. Parasvottanasana. Draw your belly inside, carve your left hip down towards the floor and your right hip towards the back of the room. As you inhale, push to straight arms flat back and step your feet together. Exhale, bow over your straight legs. And again, don't worry about how deep you fold. If you need to bend your knees, please feel free to do so. On your inhale, rise to straight arms flat back. And exhale, tap the top of your right foot down behind your left ankle. Lower your right shin to the floor. And lift your left leg up as you come into that same pose we just did on the other side. Start to pull your shin in towards your chin. Lift your gaze and roll your shoulders down your back. As you exhale, bend your left knee, flatten the sole to the floor, hands out in front of you, rock onto your right shin and lift your right leg up into the air behind you. Again, don't worry about how high your top leg goes, we're just getting started. Good. Now exhale, bend your left knee, place your right foot down behind you, lower your right knee to the floor and inhale, reach your arms up and over your head, crescent moon. Feel free to close down your eyes at any point in time if your practice allows for it. As you exhale, drop your hands to the floor, frame your foot. Turn your back toes under and step to the middle of the mat. Turn your right toes towards the top right corner and exhale, bow over your left leg. On your inhale, step your feet together and exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, rise into a chair position, arms over your head. Exhale, take your left elbow to your right knee and press your palms together in prayer. Gaze over your right shoulder. And just be sure that your left knee is not sneaking forward. It has a tendency to glide past the right. Rotate your nose down towards the floor, take weight into your right foot. Inhale, slide your left foot back behind you and come into twisted crescent lunge. On your exhale, sweep your arms out in front of you and offer your heart over your thigh. Then inhale, rise up to warrior two. Spin your left heel down and take your arms out to a T. On your exhale, straighten your right leg Pick up your right toes, bend your left knee. Hands together in prayer, right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Now, if your elbow doesn't quite hook, use your hand or forearm instead. We're gonna cycle through both sides. So on your inhale, swivel on the ball of your right foot until you face the back of the room in revolved crescent lunge. 
Exhale, sweep your arms out in front of you. And inhale, open to warrior two. Exhale, left leg straightens, right knee bends, left elbow to the outside of your right knee with prayer hands. Inhale, swivel to the front. Exhale, arms extend in front of you. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, right leg straightens, right elbow takes a bent left knee. Inhale, swivel to the back. Exhale, arms out in front. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, left leg straightens, left elbow takes a bent right leg. Inhale, crescent lunge at the top, one more round. Exhale, arms out in front. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, right leg straightens, right elbow to the outside of your left thigh. Inhale, swivel to the back. Exhale, arms out in front. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, left leg straightens, left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Inhale, pivot forward. Exhale, arms out in front. This time, inhale, reach your arms up, rise to a high crescent lunge. Exhale, bend your back knee. Inhale, step to chair. Exhale, right elbow to the outside of your left leg for revolved chair position on the other side. For two. And one. Let's inhale, reach your arms over your head as you rise to stand. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step back to down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up into the air. Exhale, step your right foot forward to the space between your hands. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, unwind to warrior two. Exhale, straighten your right leg, pick up your toes, take your right elbow to the outside of a bent left knee for that prasarita twist. Rotate your gaze to the floor. Take a little bit more weight into your left foot and slide your right foot to line up with your left. So you're in revolved chair at the back of the mat. Now from here, you'll exhale, lower your hips down towards your heels and let your heels float away from the mat. Drop your hands down to the floor facing the back of the room. And then for this version of side crow, I always think it's helpful to try to bring my right armpit down to the outside of my left knee. In the beginning when you're playing with your crow, the outside of your left glute will drop to your left elbow. Start to lean forward, maybe your feet will come up. Hold or play with different leg variations for three. Two. And one, drop it down, take it back, and meet in downward facing. Inhale, your left leg lifts up into the air. Exhale, step it through to the space between your hands. Inhale, reach your arms up and over your head, crescent lunge. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, straighten your left leg, bend your right, take your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Rotate your gaze down to the floor. Weight comes into your right foot as you drag your left foot to line up with your right. 
Keep gazing down as you lower your hips towards your heels and let your heels float away from the mat. Now from here, you can play with your side crow again. So slide your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, flatten your hands to the floor, start to shift your weight forward. Maybe you drop your hip, maybe you don't, and lean until your face hovers a half inch above the mat for three, two, and one. Lower yourself down and step or jump back through your vinyasa. Take a big breath in and out. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it through to the space between your hands. Drop your left knee down, relax your toes. Inhale, arms up and over your head. Melt into your front knee so you can stretch the top of your left thigh. When it comes to splits, it's just as important to open your front body as it is to open your back body. For two. And one, let's lower your hands to the mat. Start to extend your right leg, coming into a half split. Now, if half split is fairly easy for you, go ahead and slide your foot forward and back, and just walk yourself into full Hanumanasana, splits position. Maybe full Hanumanasana is not there, and you can take a block or a book under your right thigh or under both palms. Every day is a little different, so just meet your body where it's at today. For three, two, and one turn your back toes under lift your knee and drag your right leg up into the air for three-legged dog now on your inhale walk your hands to the back of the mat standing split again maybe your hands can bind around your left achilles tendon as you pull your head down closer to your shin now, something to think about in both standing split and Hanumanasana is the turnout of the front leg. So, or sorry, the back leg. So right now my right hip is opening up towards the sky and I wanna carve it down towards the floor, rotating the thigh inward, which will make your stretch have more integrity and more intensity. Last two. And one, let's gently lower your right foot down in line with your left. And exhale, take a bow over your legs. Now on your inhale, rise to straight arms, flat back. And then exhale, walk your hands out to downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts up. Exhale, step it forward to the space between your hands. Drop your right knee down, relax your toes, and inhale, reach your arms up and over your head. Arch through your spine, lift your gaze, lift your chest. Now on your exhale, lower your hand to the floor, frame your left leg and straighten your knee. So we're in half split here. You can stay like this, or you can start to walk your legs into Hanumanasana. For me, this is a more open side. For you, you might experience the opposite. However, it's fairly early. 
in the day for me at least. So the body is typically more tight. We'll hold and breathe. This is tapas, right? Austerity and discipline, the active choice to stay in a posture despite your body may be screaming at you. There's a difference between body intelligence and practicing from a place of ego. Understand when something is too much and when it's important to back off. Last two. And one, turn your back toes under, drag your left leg up into the air for three-legged downward facing dog. And then inhale, walk your hands to the back of the mat for standing split. Maybe you can wrap your hands around the back of your ankle or leave your hands on the floor, but just watch out for that turnout of your left hip. Carve it down even if your leg doesn't go as high as you want it to. For three. Two. And one. You'll exhale, lower your left foot down in line with your right and take a bow over your standing legs. On an inhale, rise to straight arms, flat back. Exhale, walk yourself out into downward facing dog. Take a big inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. As you inhale, start to lower yourself down into a seated position. Coming into Baddha Konasana, bring the soles of your feet to touch and your thumbs to the arches of your feet. Peel them open like a book, like you're trying to bring your toenails to the floor and exhale, bow over your legs. Just breathing here. Focus on your breath. Try not to pick at your toenails. For three. Two. And one. Let's start to inhale, make your way back up. Great. Now from here, we'll take Konasana. So same exact thing. We're just going to slide your legs out into a straddle. Pivot your toes away from your body and flex your feet. Walk your hands through the center. You might be able to lay flat. And if that's the case, take your hands to the outsides of your feet. If not, just walk your hands through the center and go into whatever intensity feels good for you. Deep breath. Notice where you're resisting the practice, where you're maybe pushing or forcing. For three, two. And one, let's inhale, make your way back up nice and easy. And as you exhale, zip your knees together. Now fold over the tops of your legs and come into Paschimottanasana. For three. Two. 
to one. Start to inhale, make your way back up. And as you exhale, curl your belly in, roll down to lay on your back. Let your legs come up into the air. Flatten your hands to the floor. Lift your hips and send your feet over your head into halasana. Toenails will come to the floor or they might hover. If your feet are touching the floor, interlace your fingers and let your hands run down the mat. If your feet are hovering above the floor, take your hands to your low spine for three. Two. And one. Roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time and split your left heel to the floor. Keep your right knee pulled into your belly. As you exhale, take your left hand to the outside of your right knee and drag it across your body for a supine twist. You can always intensify by straightening your right leg. For three, two, and one. Let's inhale, tip back to center, and exhale, send your right leg long. Inhale, pull your left knee in. And exhale, take it across your body for a twist. On your inhale, tip back to center, pull both knees into your belly and give yourself a little hug, massage your spine. Let's drop the soles of your feet to the floor and slide out into a resting position. Hands come down next to your sides or wherever it feels most aligned for you. If you have the time, stay here for Shavasana. If you need to jet, go ahead and run off as you're ready. And let your tongue float in your mouth. Jaw comes unhinged. Body melts. Again, if you have the time, stay. Otherwise, start to add life back into your fingers and toes with gentle wiggles. Soft awakening of your senses. Stretch your arms up and over your head. Take a big body on. And then draw your knees in towards your belly and roll over to one side, making a pillow with your arm as you come into the fetal position. Take a moment here to reflect on your practice. Drink in its benefits. And then slowly push yourself up into a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together at heart center, and we'll take three deep breaths to close our practice down. Deep inhale through your nose for mind. Inhale, body. Inhale, spirit. Inhale, 
The light in me honors and shines the light in you. Namaste.